A Roman legion was sent eastwards to seek out new resources, trade connections, and allies to help against the growing Germanic and Persian threat. However, rough terrain, enemy forces, and low supplies soon took their toll, leaving them scattered and isolated in a hostile land. With no way to their destination or back home, the legion remnants take on a new mission. They will plant their eagle here, gather their strength, and bring the glory of the Hellenic world to the East. Will they carve out a new Roman province or even a successor state if Rome should fall? Or will they be forced to turn back like Alexander before them? So yes, today we start very much in a tricky situation. We have traveled all the way from Britannia. As you can see, we are the same faith and culture as him. So we slightly differ from the main big Roman emperors. But we are all the way over here, surrounded by people who consider us evil, hostile, everything like that. And our goal, we are going to create a new powerful Roman kingdom over this side of the world if we can because may just get destroyed early on like there's some powerful powerful people on our borders who would probably happily take our land but our first challenge as Count Milo we're gonna have to find a spouse now we're probably not gonna get any good alliances because people don't like us over this side of the world we're, we're gonna be pretty much on our own but she looks quite good no alliance with that but she's 23 so we're gonna marry her as if we want to create a powerful kingdom, we're going to need some children. So we're going to demand her conversion and then we will start seducing. You know what? We'll go from martial focus. We're going to be doing a lot of wars. Let's make him a good, powerful character. Now, there is a kingdom we can create, which is the Kingdom of Ladakh. Probably butchering that. I do apologize. I'm going to call it the Kingdom of Lad. Hope that's not offended anybody. I'm sure it's not. But you guys know how I pronounce things by now, I'm sure. <laughs> I butcher at least 50% of the words I say. So we're going to have to get working towards that now. Men at arms, we start with two stacks of armored footmen so that's not too great either but this is lucky we don't actually have to get claims we can just conquer counties so that is going to save us a lot of time early on and a lot of money to be honest with you because yeah that's money now we can put back into our military and i'm going to keep this as our capital the county of le so this is really tricky situation what do we want to do probably not build roman bathhouses i think we have better things to spend all our money on do we just start out with a war i mean the guy to our north is the only person we can easily beat right now so maybe taking their land first is good otherwise somebody else will take it and like i said earlier with the marriage we're not going to be getting any alliances because none of these people are going to really want to marry their children off to me like that but let's see we got a thousand men actually so that's not that's not too bad and we have some very nice armor um his years do poke out though sounds like a little bit of a safety hazard but let's go for it win our first war early on that is great progress and um i know some of you guys may be waiting for the africa campaign I I'm probably going to do that after tours and tournaments drops so we can use some of them features in that but maybe like a week after the dlc drops obviously not in foreign eagle but we will be trying to unite all of africa i'm thinking that's maybe going to be about four parts hopefully i'll set some goals for each part as well so i got some planning to do for that yeah we've won that first battle no problem we're sieging now as well he's only down to 200 men so this is as good as over which is you know it's easy to pick on the little guys but you know once some of these neighbors are a much more powerful than me start taking notice they could very much defeat us so we need to try and get a powerful army very very quick but let's go we can hold all four of these counties so if we maybe build it up slightly just to support a bigger army we may be able to make somewhat of a profitable capital right now the people don't like us so we need to actually work on converting the faith and i'm going to work on converting the culture as well 39 years game rule what game rule is that it does something to do with a foreign eagle i don't know unless i've messed with the game rules or as far as I'm away it's all default but that is so long and um, we don't have any better stewards so maybe one of our children can be a good steward because yeah we're gonna have to try and fix that damn 39 years well we need to convert it though what I may actually do at some point is maybe we try and form a hybrid culture over here now in our there's a lot of cultures to choose from I mean we do start with this culture so maybe we form a hybrid with this culture it's quite a big culture as well I don't hate that so maybe we'll just convert our capital oh, 
actually, you know what? So we need to be at least a duke, and then we can start increasing cultural acceptance. So, okay, so we're going to try and create a hybrid culture as well with the Romans and these guys over here. As we're going to settle you, right? So converting the faith is very important. But for cultures, we can we can mingle and join in. Can we create the Dutch Italia? yet, I wonder? We can. Okay, let's do it. 50 gold, and we now are a mighty duke. So hopefully, we can start promoting cultural acceptance with... Oh, wait, no, I think I was looking at the wrong culture. So the culture in our capital is this one. It's not a very big culture, so maybe we don't go for that culture. Okay, but our neighbors... Their land, and this guy especially, is of the culture we want to create a hybrid with. So if we defeat him now, uh, we can't do duchy claims because we don't have enough fame. So if we just conquer a county, this county is of that culture. So if we pick this up, we can start promoting cultural acceptance and land a ruler from that culture there. So we can start building that up as early as possible because, yeah, it can take a while because I believe we need 45% acceptance to create a hybrid culture. Now, this is a slow siege, which is not great. We do not have any siege equipment, though, which makes sense. His sieges are much faster than mine. But once we siege this, can we bait him to come and fight us? If he leaves that county, we'll meet him over here, maybe. Or oh, the odds are even. Let's just try it. We've got to have belief. Let's go. Come on. There we go. No problem. And we have 61%. So if we can unsiege this now, there we go. 100%. So enforce that. And we have this new county. So what I want to do, we can actually hold it ourselves. But I want to grant it away to somebody of the local... Chiang. Okay, you may have heard that. I did just look up how to pronounce it because I didn't want to look that stupid. But it's Chiang, apparently. So we are going to give it to a local Chiang noble. Here you go. And what we can do now is just get cultural acceptance being fixed over there. Because, yeah, right now it is probably zero. And to create the hybrid culture, we need 40. So it's going to take a while to get up there. But having people of that culture in your realm... We'll increase it quite a lot. And you know what? We'll make her our marshal. She's better than our current one, so why not? She likes us now as well, which is fantastic. We still haven't had a child. Are you going to have a child or not? Okay, so it failed at some point. Can we just have children, please? Or we can have concubines, to be fair. Yeah, maybe we get a concubine then. Okay, so we're going to have our spy master be our concubine, as we just need children desperately. The last thing we need to have no children and the whole thing end here. But Hispania is going to war against the tyranny of the Western Roman Empire. So, they are in some trouble. They're having a lot of fights right now. We will find this mod, yeah. Often, the Western Roman Empire does start falling apart way sooner than the Eastern, which is obviously true. But I'm hoping at least the Eastern Roman Empire stayed together. So at least we have some friends left in the world. I don't want to be the last Roman Ep kingdom. Okay, my concubine is pregnant. You know what? I'll take it. Fine. Thank you. Finally, somebody. She... Not about it. Okay, there we go. Son and heir. Now, he is child of a concubine, but look, a child's a child. So we're going to start educating him. Hope he turns out decent as he is the future heir. Now, we are going to rename him. I do not know what that says. Octavius. There we go. Octavius Helvia. And he's getting sickly. Please, game, do not do this to me. I beg. Please. But we're not going to get duchy wars for a little while. I don't really want to spend money on going for hunts and that. To be honest, not right now. I... I want to build up at least our capital because what kind of kingdom is it going to be if it has no economy? So we are going to try and fix it. Ooh, 50 gold from that. Lovely. But yeah, we're going to start building up our economy. So I don't want to waste money on hunts and feasts just to get bigger walls. We can just stick with the county walls for now. But yeah, we've both sieged the county. So we're going to try and catch them out now. Hopefully they oh, they're going to unsiege. Okay, they're fine. We can go catch them out up there. I want to end this soon as we are losing 1.9 gold per month. But I think the siege equipment, even though they may be somewhat expensive to build, first of all, they will actually save us money in the long run as we can actually end the wars much faster. There we go. We've defeated their armies. So what we're going to do now, go and unsiege. Hopefully before they can unsiege that. And hopefully, just like that, it is over. So, we've picked up our second county. Now, I don't know. With the cultural acceptance, does it go up more if you have more separate vassals? Or if each vassal of that culture has more land? You are gaining some from vassalage, but that's not very much, actually. Okay, so I want to see what happens. If we grant her another title, there we go. The cultural acceptance actually shows here. goes up by 0.5%. So do that. And now check. So we had a base jump of 0.5 to now 2%, but from vassalage, it's still showing 0.01. So maybe having more separate vassals is more helpful. Yeah, I'm not fully sure how that works. But if any of you do, please let me know in the comments. I would really, really appreciate that. But we're being raided. Well, let's not have that. Let's go defeat them. Stop raiding my vassals land. No, we will chase. We'll hunt you down. And hopefully, we'll catch you. 
There we go. I don't know who this guy is. Oh, he's that neighbor we've already defeated in war. He was raiding his past county. I, mean, I don't blame him. We will not be having that. There we go. He's no longer sickly. Nice. I'm going to try to seduce our wife again. And let's see. He has picked up bossy. So, marshal or stewardship. We are going marshal. We're going the full Roman warrior route. Okay, we actually did have a son with her. Here we go. So, we're going to educate them both. We'll see who turns out better. Oh, no. So, my vassal's husband, this guy has her in prison. So, you know what? We're going to conquer county and take him out of the game for that. Let's free her husband. Come on, that's got to increase cultural acceptance some way. We're going to war for your husband. I hope you know that. Let's just go for it. Get in there early. And my other son is also now cradled with sickness. And they come back to fight me while he was leading his own army. So enforce that. And hopefully that should mean her husband has been freed and he doesn't even care. Well, there we go then. Now, let's see. We could hold this land, but I want to hold this county down here as it is part of my duchy. So we need to give this away. And I don't particularly want to make her too powerful. Or maybe we... Actually, I want to test if we also give this title to someone of that culture. What does that do to our cultural acceptance gain? 0.03. Hmm. I'm not too sure on the numbers, right? It's gone up 0.2 from that. I wish... It'd be nice if you could hold over it and break down, but maybe if they become dukes or something, we also get more. I'm not fully sure, to be honest. Maybe we'll work it out today. Maybe we won't. Cradled by death. Oh, no. I am so sorry, my lord. The midwife does not look me in the eye. In it arms is a tiny covered bundle. Your daughter, she's in Hades now. So, my daughter was a stillborn. But, you know, this is medieval time. Who cares? <laughs> Let's see. So, this kingdom title, I want to definitely get at least this kingdom title as well, which does mean we have to go to war with this guy to our south and he is pretty powerful does it also mean we also have to go to war with this guy with some weird shaped kingdom it's actually pretty cool so there's some big wars coming up and i'm just worried this guy might declare war on me for some reason especially when we become a king or something we'll have to wait and see how that turns out okay we finally have some money so we can do our first building i think quarries is not bad not much money but it does slightly help with construction time so if we get this to level two five percent less construction time and 0.4 gold a month and a little bit off our men at arms maintenance but a quicker building time then can help us build maybe pastoral lands. We don't really have much things to make money, to be completely honest with you. So what I might do as well, we can build barracks for heavy infantry damage. So that's probably not a bad thing to do either. Just buff our heavy infantry as much as we can, as we already have some built. Oh, we had a daughter and she is feeble. All right, nice. Another son. This guy, he's a dwarf. Where are these traits coming from? It's congen so, I don't think she's cheating on me. I think it can just happen, I believe. But I am a bit suspicious. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think that can just happen sometimes, I think. Or am I just lying to myself? That may be the case. But our truce is over, so it is now time to end this guy's life. So these will be the easiest wars. Hopefully, actually, in this life, we can get duchy wars. I mean, we are, like, mid-30s, so maybe not. We'll see. We do also have a peasant uprising, but they don't even seem to have enough men proper siege, so we can just march over there, take them out as well. We've had another daughter. What is going on? We've had another daughter. She spindly. So, three children in a row. We've had feeble, dwarf, and now spindly. I have no idea what is going on with all these people. That's not a bad start. We've taken a decent chunk of land there. I'm happy with that. But now we have to proper start expanding eastwards and get to the Roman name to a kingdom over here, hopefully. Okay, maybe a bit risky, but somehow I think it was through like uh, an event. We have a claim on her southern county. Now, we could do a holy war, but her neighbor be here is of the same faith and he is pretty scary. Although I think they're allied actually anyway. Yes. Yeah, so so you know what? We could holy war for duchy. And what is our faith? So yeah, we are pluralist. So we vassalize them rather than take their land. But she is of the right culture. You know what? Let's try it. This could really, really backfire. But let's try it. If we can raise our troops fast, get in there. What I want to do first, I want to find their armies to defeat them. But I can't find them. There's some to our north. I oh, would take attrition though. Maybe we let them go and take attrition. Well, 700 just spawned there when we moved off their capital. So I think we can get back and actually catch them. Because, yeah, we're going to have to defeat their armies as there is about a thousand more of them. But if we can win this, it would be absolutely massive for us. Ooh, they've been caught out up here by another army. This guy's fighting them as they were raiding him. Now, actually, we are. We did become friends, actually, through an event. You have a son. How about you marry my daughter? He'll take that. Okay. Let's become friends with them then. And hopefully he really likes us. So he should join our war. That's an extra 500 men. Oh, there's 600 there. They've been defeated as well by somebody. They were do 
being raided. So I imagine they got defeated by a raiding army. Things are actually playing out very well in our favor right now. Let's go fight. You know what? Don't worry about the siege just yet. He's been defeated up here. So let's go and defeat these guys. Hopefully our allies come and follow us. We should be able to defeat them. We just need to catch them out. Do not let them get away because we have to defeat them while they're split up. Because if both of their armies join into one big one, we're probably not going to be able to defeat them. So just... Defeating their armies over and over and over again right now is really, really going to help us in the future. And we're down to 1,500 men, so right now it's pretty even. So, let's defeat them a few more times. Oh no, they did manage to join up. Let, I, we just go for the fight, maybe. Ah, saying we're going to lose there. We need to defeat them. Right, it's saying you will probably lose. I don't know if it's counting my allies, so let's just go for it. Hope our allies get in and we can win this fight if they're quick. Yes, come on, look at that. Perfect. Now, let's see how many of them are we going to kill. 500, we lost 200. So, it wasn't that decisive, but what we're going to do now is chase them. They're going this way, so so are we. Do not let them any chance to recover. Just follow them. This guy has the better army, so we're going to follow him. As this is quite a bit higher quality. Catch them out again, hopefully. Or oh, they kind of catch me. Fine. Weird choice, but I'll take it. They're down to 400 troops. Now, what we do is we're going to go and start sieging the war target. So they may be able to recover a little bit, but hopefully not enough. There we go. Up 84%. I say we just keep sieging. Oh, no. My younger son, Milo, who was born during that war. What? what what the? What is going on with my children? This guy now has cancer. What is going on? Why are all my children getting negative effects? We will pay for a court physician. I don't care if we go in debt. Let's try and save his life. Now, she is okay. Drastic measures. Milo has received... Oh, no. <laughs> he may survive. I'm sorry, Milo. What? My kids are just getting every single negative effect in the game. All right, do not let them unsiege. Let's go get them. We should win again with my allies' support. Come on, please catch them. Please catch them. Yes, perfect. Now, we are in debt, so we have to try and get out of debt, but... We we do have peacemakers, so if we get to 90%, we can end the war right now. There we go. That battle allows us to enforce demands. Problem... Wait, we didn't keep her as a vassal, even though we are pluralist, so we should have. But you know what? I'm not complaining. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give all this land to a new vassal, but this time we're going to go with someone from our culture. So you can have all of that land. And once we're a king, we will make you a duke. As you know, we, we do already have two vassals from the other culture. We need some of our own. And he's looking like a pretty good character. He's strong. Now, I don't think he's having any more children, but she will rule that eventually, I believe. We have some people we can ransom. Hopefully, mostly taking us out of debt. But that. I'm so glad we won that because we were definitely quite a bit outnumbered at the start, but catching them while they split up definitely helped and making that alliance. So I'm happy with that. Now, I believe I married my daughter to his son. Did I not? I was meant to. Okay. Ooh, now this. Do we take this chance? This guy right now, he's still pretty weak. We're not fully rebuilt either. He does have more money, so he may get mercenaries, but we did just defeat him in that battle, and right now, I believe he'll be on his own. This faith is is, as far as I can see, just here. Oh, there is some characters up here with it. This guy as well. But he only has 500 men. So this faith is honestly quite weak. We may be able to just... You know what? We don't have money though. So we're going to go in debt really fast. Let's just go for it. Let's just get these wars over with. We can call our allies as well. Fair bit of prestige that's going to cost. But I mean, it's good to have a little bit of backup. Raise all and prepare for some debt. Now we're going to march straight in for his capital. Siege that. And as long as nobody else joins his side, the debt really shouldn't matter. Now, we haven't built the siege equipment yet, so sieges may not be the fastest either. But as long as we can siege this before he walks into our land and sieges our land, uh, we're, we're pretty good. I mean, yeah. And right now, he is just standing over there. So we've sieged his capital. And you know what? We're going to go and try and fight him now if we can catch up to him. I don't know what he's doing. Is he going to fight that army? No. Okay, so we are in mission chase right now. now. He may be too fast, but you know what? We want to defeat his armies. Now, he's saying we might lose. Army supply running low. Defend in river oh god yeah there's a lot of things in his favor but we're gonna go for it we, we should be able to just outnumber them and win that way i mean we just defeated his entire army and that is that so we have snowballed way faster than i expected now did we get no once again we got no vassals of that land which is interesting so yeah we can just grant this land away now to a local noble and we'll also grant her this one down here but well, it's gaining a stress but hopefully it is drastically increasing that cultural acceptance that we really need. 
We're up 15%. 0.05 from Vastage now, which is nothing. Yearly gain, 0.65. Now, I do believe there is a... When you are a king, a court event that can, like, give you loads. So maybe once we're a king, we'll get lucky with that. But yeah, we actually almost have the full kingdom title. The one that's missing will be a pretty nasty war because he has a powerful ally as well to our north. So if we declare that war right now, we will probably get overwhelmed. But it does allow us to create the kingdom title. So we need to create a duchy title for 50 gold. We'll create this one to give to Dexippus. And then what we need to do is save another 100 gold and we can create a kingdom title. So it's only going to cost us 150 gold. And there we go, 100 gold. So create kingdom title, the Ladaki court. Let them see their new king. Now what I'm going to do, oh, the court, look how nice this courtroom is. And just a flex. We're going to put another person's house banner right behind us just to say we defeated them. But if we hold court, there is a chance of getting a really nice event that can like massively boost cultural acceptance. So I'm just gonna do them and see what happens. And so somebody will give me 350 gold to take a barony title? Okay, I'll take that. Why not? So what did we just give away? Some sort of barony, I'm not sure which one, but that's 350 gold. I will definitely take that because that is some extra money now we can just build some things with. So pastoral lands and then barracks I think are gonna be nice for us. So we can get on with that, which is really cool. Actually, I wanna try, if I create a duchy title over here and I say I give you now this duchy title, which will be this one. Does that further increase vassalage acceptance because they're now a duke? Yes, it does. Okay. So the amount matters and their title size. We're, we're, we're learning. We're working things out slowly, but surely. Oh, well, let's see. We've got 150 gold to spare. So our son and player rate, Octavius has finished training and he got skilled tactician and went the soldier. Not bad at all. And we need to find a fitting marriage for him. Now there's someone with quick yeah, she's also 16. So that is actually pretty good. Now we get a tiny alliance with it. Uh, not really that important. Some person all the way over here with like no land in the Bengal Empire. But I think that's a pretty nice fitting marriage for him. Oh my god, we did drastic measures again for his cancer treatment. Um, he's now one legged. This guy, he's got cancer, can't have children, he's scarred, one legged, and he's wounded. God, do we just put him out of his misery at this point? I mean, he's only... S uh, okay, well, that goes him then. Oh, yeah, we were on about that not long ago. As you can see, Britannia has gone independent. So the Western Roman Empire will probably, yes, yeah, start collapsing with independence things pretty soon. Potentially, we'll keep an eye on it. Wait, my other child now has got club-footed. Can anybody explain what is going on? And why are my children against such bad traits all the time? I've never had this happen before. I don't know what is going on. This is so cursed. Okay, my son and player right now has pneumonia. What it, What is going on? My children are actually cursed. Someone from over this side of the world has put a curse on my family for moving here. There is no way this is meant to happen. Now, you did butcher my son, but go on. I trust you, please. There we go. She learned her lesson. But somebody has cursed me. I'm not having it. This is not normal at all. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start upgrading my armed footman as much as I can. We do have barracks going down now. I will get them to level two, which will give us 6% more damage and 4% more toughness on them. So we're going to boost them a fair amount. Now, my neighbor to the north is demanding his house banner back. Now, we were allies at one time, but our friend died. So no, we are keeping this memory of our friend. Thank you. Oh no, we well and truly f***ed around and found out. So this guy has now declared a holy war on me with his ally to the south. We are in a tough situation. So he's going for a pretty big county of our land. Now, his ally is definitely going to join and they have 5,000 men. How are we going to win this? We do have some unmarried children, like our daughter. So maybe, is there an alliance we can actually pick up now? We're not going to marry with them. They're, they are the enemies of the Romans. Let's see. What about you? I mean, what if we got an alliance with him? Quick, come on. Accept a marriage. Accept a marriage, please. Right. And what if we called you to our war? Oh, no. Wait, he, he still he still he still joined them. Right. Um, well, that's not that helpful. Well, we're gonna break the betrothal then. I'm not having that. We're in such a bad situation. Is there a nice alliance we can get? We can get an alliance with you. That's two thousand men. Let's make that one. We do have another son here. The dwarven son, or dwarf son, I should say. Let's see. 1,500. You're quite far away, though. Okay, you. That's a nice alliance. Let's take that one, then. Right, there's 1,800 of them there. What if we raise our troops over here and call these allies in as soon as we can? If we can cash this 
this army out. Try and get a nice early start. Need to catch them, though, before this other guy marches over you. But yeah, I don't know if we're even going to be able to defend this. But we will try and catch them. We can call our allies now they've accepted the marriages. Hopefully that helps somewhat. I don't think we can catch him. So 6,200 actually versus 6,200. So there's a chance is what you're telling me. Uh-oh. Right, our only chance is capturing him in battle. Look at that. They are literally sieging all of my land right now. And he's going to join them. Right. We are done. We are not winning this. Now we have quite a few allies coming as well. So if we hold out in our land for them all to get here, they're, very, they're sieging his land, I think, or something. They're sieging. They're in another war, I think. So yeah, our allies are too busy with their own thing right now. <sighs> Do we just go for it? Yeah, I mean, let's see what happens, innit? We have Roman strength in us. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Quick. If we can defeat them enough before enough of them join in. You know what? We put up a fight. I'll say that much. We put up a big fight there. You know what? There's only 1,500 of them left uninjured after that. Oh, no. My son died and we are now rivals. So that was our third in line. We killed 1,000 of them. They also killed 1,000 of us. So really, it wasn't that beneficial. And we are down a drastic. 60%. If our allies could come up here, we would have won that. And the other war, they're up 67%. So maybe they get you in time. Probably not. Especially now, as they're going to start sieging and they're probably going to start shooting up their war score. Plus, they are, yeah, crazy sieging the war target. So I think we're pretty much done. Damn, that is unlucky. Come on, they're on 91%. Their other war's over. Are they going to start making their way up here? If they do, we have a chance. Come on, quick. They're actually here. Right. Let's march over here. Let's don't let them see our cap. Come on, let's jump on them now, sieging our capital. Quick. No. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Our allies, we would have literally, I think we would have won that. If we were a second faster, that is on me. I should have gone in for the fight earlier, but damn, that kind of hurts. But we will definitely have to get that back. I mean, we don't have a truce. So let's just go straight back to war. Why not? We'll call our allies again. Yeah, let's just go straight back for it. We're running it back. <laughs> You're not getting away that easy. You, know, you thought, you thought. No, we are back. And this time we're going to win. Straight back in for it. Not even a break. Not even not even like a weak break from that fight. We are straight back sieging it. My guy just refuses to lose. There you go. Nice siege. Go and defeat the... Oh, they're going to run away. I'm not chasing them again this time. We'll just focus on sieging the war target. My heir is unmarried. His wife... Whoa. Okay. So he also stole my son's wife and made her a concubine. Damn, that is actually mean. And they have like four children. You know what? Let's just focus on getting revenge. We've sieged the whole war target. He's running to the south. So you know what? Let's siege his capital as well. Let's get in there. Well, they're coming for the fight. If we can siege the capital. Okay, they're coming straight for me. Now, this is going to be close. Can my allies make all the difference, please? Yeah, there we go. Love. Ooh, there's 900 more. That's okay, actually. There we go. 100%. And we stole Hair of the Buddha. Now, we sadly didn't imprison the woman he stole. I, I really want to get her back, but we didn't get her in that siege. How are we going to get her back? I don't really think there's a way. Maybe sieging the surrounding baronies may give a chance for it. Oh, we're going to lose a fight here, though. Our allies, I think they've, like, mostly left. Are we actually going to lose the fight? No, we are winning it. I want to get I want to get her back, but I don't think we can. So we're going to end the war, sadly, without her. Now, we do have his wife in prison. So what we are going to do, we are going to recruit... Is there any way to force her to become a concubine? We can recruit her, demand her conversion. So maybe we just... Can we keep her wife or can she just go back now? I don't... I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, he still got her, which sucks. She's stuck over there. But I guess the most important thing is we got our land back. Oh, we also have his daughter in prison. <laughs> oh, is that really? Hmm. Oh, wait. No, he has my daughter. Oh, I mean, oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> I thought we had his daughter then. Fine. You win that one as well. And we have his sister in prison. Ah, we could have, I think we could have maybe forced her. That's how you do it. You click on the concubine thing down here and you can force prisoners. That is how you do it. I completely forgot. So maybe we could have forced his wife to be a concubine, maybe? Damn, I should have done that. We will go back for another war, though. I am not done with them. And we are going to have a truce for five years, which is very long, but we will be getting revenge, hopefully, anyway. And we should have enough money now to max out our armored footman to size seven out of seven, which is awesome. So, we have an okay-ish, I mean, okay-ish army for the minute, especially with these now boosting my men at arm.
arms. Now, who are you? A vassal of the guy we need later for some land has declared war on me for quite a big chunk of land over here. So we have another war we need to try and defend now. This is what I was talking about. People are not going to like us and they're going to want to take my land off of me. So where are you coming from? We're just going to start sieging over here. Oh, he has, he has allies. But we don't. Okay, so let's see, we can make an alliance with our daughter. This guy down here. I like that. Let's do that. So we can call him now to lend us a hand in this war. And hopefully, after this war, our truce is over with him and we can get some revenge. Oh, another person just got involved. There's so many of them. 6,000. Now, our allies, they are coming up, which is good. Now, we may lose some more land here. This is not looking good. This is what I meant, though, where people are really just going to. Oh, we need to go and help our friend. Oh, no, he's winning. Never mind. Yeah, people are not going to like us. We can try this fight, maybe. You'll probably lose. Ah, uh, probably not worth it. My wife did also just... He's chasing us. Oh, no. Where are my allies? Are they coming? No. What are they doing? Help. Help. Please. 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 Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Do not stop. She, she just stopped. Not a fan of that. Is this winnable? I really don't know. My right. allies are making their way to me. Let's go for it. Let's go fight these lot up here. If we can defeat these, we may be able to win. Because this is the biggest chunk of their army up here. So if we can all get involved... As long as they're quick enough, because I do need save. Oh, actually, we are winning. Nice. Here we go. So that is a big chunk of their army. We're up 15%. I say, let's just go down here and start sieging. I don't fully know where they are, but the war target is here. So if we siege their land here, we can kind of keep an eye on them, making sure they're not getting the war target. Okay, there they are. Fight again. Let's go. Let's not let them recover at all. Just completely overwhelm them. Come on, please catch them. There's a lot of them here. So this may be quite risky, actually. Yeah, I think not even all of them are getting involved. 700 years just standing there. That was close. Very, very, very close. But we just killed 1,600, although we did lose a lot of men. But we're up 42% now, and we have got taken war score. So getting on with some sieges should allow us to win, and hopefully quite soon. Uh oh, they've caught my allies out over here. Can we save them? Mm, oh, no. Oh, no. White piece? Yeah, okay. I'll take a white piece. Okay, so yeah, we did manage to defend that, which is great. Uh, we don't have that truce anymore. What I'm going to do, I'm going to marry somebody who is infertile just for some extra, not you because you are mayor, just for some extra money at the minute. As once our men at arms are rebuilt, all 700 of them, we're going for it. Shouldn't take too long. There they go. So let's just go straight for it. We're going to conquer Duchy. We are taking all of his land. We are sick of him. And that should allow us to maybe get that woman back. Now, I mean, we shouldn't need any allies. We should be capable of doing this on our own. So let's go straight for his capital. And hopefully catch his army as well. Nice. Right. What we got to hope for is some nice captures. If we capture her, that would be brilliant. But did we capture her prisoner? No. We'll just start sieging around it. Now, if he unseizes his capital, I'm going to let him do it. Because I imagine if we re-siege it again, we have another chance of capturing in her back. So we're going to go straight back for it. Any captures? Right, we captured. That is his, another concubine of his. So we are going to... I don't want to see this concubine, though. That's not really the same thing, is it? That's not as much of a... Yeah, get get done. Do you know? It's just his concubine. <laughs> go on, unsiege it. Yeah, go on. You know you want to. Okay, our other wife just died. Okay, maybe there's like a limit how many times you can siege their capital to get prisoners. Because, yeah, at this point, we're not getting any more. Oh, wait, she's dead? She's dead. Oh, my God, do we kill her in a siege? <laughs> ah, there's no way. We killed her in a siege. This was the whole point. <sighs> Fine, we're going to end the war now there. We killed her in the siege. I, I, just, just why? Come on. <laughs> uh, we got his other concubine as a prisoner, but fine. Let's enforce that then. I just cannot believe we actually killed her after all of that. We were the villains after all. We're going to grant this new title away anyway. And we'll also make them a duke and grant them this duchy title. So we can take that other person now as a vassal underneath of us. Yeah, I just can't believe that is how that turned out. What are the odds? Right, what we're going to do, it may be a bit late in this guy's life, but if we pick up open-minded, we gain 20% more cultural acceptance. So I think that, yeah, that'll be quite helpful. So we're going to try that. Try and boost it out as much as we can. Now, yeah, look at the Western Roman Empire. It is falling drastically. Eastern Roman Empire is still going quite strong. They're doing completely fine. Now, somebody's trying to murder me. Uh, it hasn't got the highest chance, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, we're going to get some siege towers down as well. Now, we're just going to start focusing fully on our military. We've got to become a true military power on this side of the world, right? That's be the most men, but they need to be good. We need to be able to defend without allies. Oh no, there we go. King Milo died 
at 73 years of age. We are now playing as Octavius, who is now 45. So we're going to carry on promoting cultural acceptance. Our military is pretty decent. We did lose some land through inheritance, I think. Yeah, this guy, look. Did take some land off of us, but we'll leave him there. I'm not too worried about that. Oh my god, this is so lucky. This is the exact event that I was talking about. Celebrating another culture. My lord, I have a brilliant idea. How about we host a fair, or perhaps even a festival? Festival for the common folk to expose them to one of the different cultures in our beautiful kingdom. It'll cost money, but I'm sure it'll help foster a more positive relationship between our people. And we got the correct culture for this event as well. So 75 gold, we can increase cultural acceptance by 20%. Yes, we're in debt. That is amazing. That is so, so lucky, which does mean and we are losing money. I think maybe our, yeah, we need to fix our control. Uh, we shouldn't be losing money though. Uh, we can start working on maybe just collect taxes or something now. But yeah, the development of our capital is only three. <laughs> but once we get the control fixed, we should be making money. But either way, if we go to cultures and that one, we now have 53% acceptance. So form hybrid culture. Now we're going to remove the middle bit. So we have the Django Roman culture. Now that's a nice color. We'll keep that. We'll keep our heritage. We will start speaking their language, I think. Why not? Now for ethos, we can go spiritual, so more piety, control growth, or communal, which does help with building. So I, I think I prefer that one. Now, we have to pick five traditions. Roman legions, of course. We've got, we've got to keep that one, right? Awesome men at arms. Uh, we will definitely not keep equal inheritance. No, thanks. Um... Settlers ones. Mountaineer men at arms. That's pretty cool. We'll keep those. Uh, we'll remove refined poetry. So we're going to do that and aesthetics. So we're going to go Mongolian military equipment. So for names, we'll keep Roman names. We'll start building our style buildings and we'll keep our clothes and our coat of arm designs. So that's going to cost us 1,260 prestige. So hopefully we can do that this life. Now, yeah, we need to get out of debt drastically. Uh, this is not looking too good for us. But this guy to our south look that we need this county off, he is falling apart, which on the other hand, that is looking pretty good for us. So I'm happy with that. The Hunnic Empire though. Look at that. I've never seen the Hunnic Empire do that before. What is going on? They are so powerful. They could literally walk into the Romans land and just do what they want to them, to be honest with you. But we do need some prestige. So you know what? We're not going to get much for this from winning, I guess. I mean, we could holy war it. Um, I, Nah, it's probably not worth the risk of a holy war. So you know what? Let's just do a small county war now while we have some money. Defeat this guy and then we will have the full de jure borders of our kingdom. Now he's brought some allies. So they have like about 2,900 men. I'm going to try and not call any because I don't really want to spend the prestige. We need to try and make quite a bit. Now he is in a lot of wars. So hopefully he doesn't really target us. But his capital is here and we have siege equipment. So we can go through his capital much, much faster now. But 30% already Let's just get in there and siege. Uh, we do not want them to end the other wars, which they have, and then all focus on me. So come on, can we end this? We don't have Gallant anymore, so we do need to get the full 100%. This could be risky. Look, they're coming from over there. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. What does this give us, this siege? Oh, wait, we do have Gallant? Oh, this guy did it on his own while he was still being controlled by the AI. That is huge. So enforce that. There we go. Up to 800 prestige. We are severely, severely severely in debt, which is not great. I don't think we really have many prisoners to sell. Yeah, they're not really worth anything. So we're going to have a faction to deal with, but pretty soon, hopefully in this guy's life, we should get enough prestige now to create that culture. Okay, is that enough prestige now to finally form hybrid culture? It's now 1,400. Right, great. It's gone more expensive. <laughs> we're only 100 off though, and we are making 6.7 a month. So any second, we should be able to create the hybrid culture. We are now mal nourished and we're dying. Oh God, please game, don't do this to me. Uh, let's move and pick up a small health boost from the medicine focus. Can we please not die? I know we have cancer, but can we just live a little bit longer, please? 150 prestige from that event. Okay, because of that though, we can finally now form the hybrid culture to a new age, a new era, a new people. So we, we got one of our biggest goals and we are of course a king. And yeah, the Western Roman Empire is practically non-existent and the Hunnic Empire is picking up everything, which they are absolutely gigantic. That is actually terrifying. Oh no, and just like that, King Octavius has 
has died. And you know what? I think we'll leave it there for today. We created a strong Roman kingdom, I believe. That is a decent sized kingdom anyway. We did get a nice hybrid culture, which I think is very fitting. So I'm happy we did manage to do that as well. And it took two lives. It took 68 years. And it seems we are doing much better than the Western Roman Empire. I gotta say a massive thank you to Dagda for this video idea. And he also did write the intro. So a massive thank you to Dagda. But thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. And I'm gonna end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. Revintermio1, Toxic Flame, Caesar, Mr. Diesel, Emperor Augustus, and Zehamus. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.